This week, we're going to talk about Une Nouvelle Amie, the new film from French director François Ozon. Je t'ai pas dit. J'ai eu David. David. Ouais, comme tu l'appelais pas, mais je l'ai fait. I interviewed him um, during the Toronto International Film Festival last year, and uh, he said, uh, the director said it was uh, inspired uh, a bit by Hitchcock and also by uh, American director uh, Brian De Palma who made Scarface and also a transgender slasher flick called uh, Dressed to Kill. Ça me fait du bien de prendre un peu de temps pour moi. Elle est charmante, non Elle a une très jolie robe, c'est vrai. He's a very prolific uh, director. Uh, he puts out a film every year or two, and he, he's really into to secrets and to things people hide and what goes on be, behind closed doors. And, and this film really falls into that. It's a very entertaining movie. It's a, it's not a it's not a classic. It's not Francois Ozon's best film, but it's thoroughly entertaining, beginning to end. It it it, it kind of stumbles a little bit in the in the last act, I would say. Um, because he has a lot of dangling plot lines and, and it becomes a bit much. He would have done better just to stick to the, to the real intrigue of these two and, and their dynamic and how, how it's changing. There's this back and forth all the time as Claire kind of gets pulled in uh, and intrigued and, and kind of turned on and then she, she pulls away and, and you're wondering where things are going. There's, there's no murder, there's, no, there's nothing really juicy like that. But the, there's a there's a sense of, of danger and a sense of mystery as to what's going to happen, where they're going, and what, what it all means. T'as rencontré quelqu'un? Une femme très douce. Elle me comprend, sans me juger. It's, it's just a it's a fun little film. Uh, also, François Ozon, the director, said in my interview with him is that um, he wanted it to have this fairy tale kind of feel. I think I think uh, Ozon is making a film for his fan base here, for his loyal fan base, for b people. I mean, it's for anyone really. Like it's a very accessible film. I think anyone who walked in here could be drawn in by this story. Um, but anyone who has seen Ozon's films will not be surprised by by what they're seeing. It falls in line with his themes and with his uh, his mode of filmmaking and the kinds of things he's intrigued and interested by. Tell me, Pervert. Faut arrêter.